Hey there guys, welcome to Luna's World and I hope you're well. Sorry if I'm talking a little bit quiet, it's kind of late here and um, yeah, having some issues sleeping this evening. So I thought what better way to, sp to spend the time than to just do a video. Uh, anyway, you know what I mean, it didn't come out quite how I wanted it to, but there we go. And we've got some birds, oh check those out, wow. There we go. So we're in this incredibly gorgeous location and I'll tell you where we are. We're in Pyro Airport, which is in Bhutan. I'm sure many of you uh, know about this airport already. It's um, often cited as one of the most challenging airports in the world. And there's a very few number of pilots uh, that are certified to land here. I think it's eight, something like that. Um, so yeah, I'll, I'll you know, shoot some facts at you as we uh, get into this but what we're basically going to do is go for a gentle flight nothing too crazy um, I want to fly up around this ridge and then basically hopefully get over there or maybe we'll, we'll fly over the aircraft over the airfield and, and go over to this ridge I don't know we'll see but we're going to stay fairly close to uh, this airfield because we've got limited um, battery and for some reason um, I think it's because we're so high up. We're at 7,274 feet um, and the battery isn't charging for some reason. And I think it's the cold air. So let's get this thing up in the air. So and deploy our engine and we'll set the flaps are already set. The trim is set. So we'll get this thing up in the air. I think my taxiing and general flying, apart from not releasing the brake, all right, now what? What's happening now? It was already deployed. Amazing. All right, here's what happens if you deploy the Basically, if you throttle up without putting the engine up and then you decide to put the engine up, this is what happens. <laughs> and I got an excellent landing for that. Brilliant. All right. Hopefully we haven't damaged, damaged anything too much. And we'll continue our journey onwards and upwards, as they say. So I was just saying that, oh, we've got some traffic there, oh well. I'm just saying that I thought that my control of this aircraft was getting better. And then I retracted the What kind of aircraft is that? Oh, that's, um, oh, 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 he's as bad as me. All right, we're up, so gear up. That is, that's a prime example, actually, of X-Plane um, AI. They're just, they're, they're, they're pretty bad pilots, generally speaking. Um, put our flaps to neutral, that should have done it. Yep. Actually, that's worth explaining. Zero in this glider, I don't know if it's true for all gliders, um, is not flaps, as far as I'm aware, it's not flaps up because this thing has setting one and two which are for high speed and high altitude flying which we will use once we get a bit further up. So yeah, I don't know, I, ne I need to look that up um, but I think you can damage, if you if you have it set on zero and you go over the uh, flap speed you, you'll end up damaging the uh, the flaps. So yeah, just so you know, I learned the hard way. Zero isn't uh, flaps up, basically. Right, I'm trying to find, that's too high up there. I'm trying to find a pathway up. I think this is gonna be our best bet. Yeah, up through that gap there. So lovely stuff, I mean, you know, Skymax Pro doing a really nice job here, I think, with the clouds. And um, just the general 
feel of it. Um, I don't know. I know that's not just SkyMax Pro. Taking the Y7 out today, which is, uh, oh, that's a screenshot, sorry guys, that's just too good to not do actually that as well. Look at the god rays coming through there, yeah, that's pretty nice, got a lot of time for that. Alright, I better just jump in the cockpit again, I think I was heading towards a mountain. Yeah, so, um, like I said, we're going to do a very gentle, oh, we might do a few acrobat. Acrobat aerobatic room maneuvers. God, I do apologize. I'm incredibly tired and you know, one of those nights where you just want to sleep but you can't. That's what I've got right now. It's really annoying. And I've got to be up fairly early tomorrow for my daughter's first ever swimming lesson, which I can't wait. She's only four months old and um, super, super looking forward to that. I've got this really cool underwater camera um, which I might do a review of I know it's got nothing to do with flight sims and stuff but I really have fun reviewing stuff um, as you might have gathered I don't know um, but yeah I'm, I'm gonna do some sim related stuff uh, like um, you know the SciTech stuff and um, I've got you know various peripherals and things that I use including uh, an amazing set of wireless headphones um, that are less than 80 pounds and the, 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 the sound quality is absolutely incredible. I had a pair of Bose um, uh, wireless headphones and but these are absolutely comparable and about a third of the price. So yeah, anyway, right, we're going to shut down our engine try and conserve that conserve that power and take in this breathtaking view by the way when you close the engine down when it you, you do feel that in the airframe you do get sort of weird jolts and things so it's it's really cool really highly accurate but this is absolutely blissful um, wow that's all that's all I can say absolutely stunning in fact, let's just go outside again. ...stuff, and that quietness, that's something that I really want to experience. I've never been in a glider in real life and um, that thing of being you know up in the air but the quietness was the thing you don't get with um, you know obviously in a, a rattly old Cessna 172 or a Piper Warrior or something. You do get it more so with the microlights but those Rotax engines are pretty pretty noisy. Um, and there's our airfield down there, just off to the right. So it's good to keep that in uh, in our sight. Yeah. So that that sort of quietness is must be incredible. And I have to say, flying this in the sim in real life, if that makes sense, is it's really calming. I don't know. It's hard to explain. It just, um, yeah, it's just calming, relaxes you. So that that I think that's testament to how good um, the flight model is and the fluidity of all the graphics. I mean, to get these beautiful images um, and the smoothness is just a dream, really. It's just uh, addictive in a in a good way. Been looking forward to this. So I've been working on 
This is a little uh, preview. I've been working on a pretty epic uh, new video for the channel. In fact, it is my, it's the most, I think I might have said this about the previous video, the uh, Gimli video, which was pretty epic. But this one, I've gone, I've gone all out, including um, doing voiceovers and stuff. And I think, I think you're going to love it. Hope, I hope so. It's um, a lot of work has gone into it. I've really enjoyed the process, and I've learned a lot about video editing, um, doing it, and you know all sorts of stuff. I use Sony Vegas at the moment, and um, yeah, just it's a big learning curve for me. And uh, I've, I've, yeah, I just think it's it's going to be a cool video, um, both from a sort of informative. Um, stance and also hopefully it's got some of the visual pyrotechnics and things that um, that you know make watching a video uh, interesting so edits and things um, anyway that's hopefully going to be coming out soon I'm actually waiting for some scenery um, it's a semi sponsored video um, and um, I'm not going to mention anything about it yet and the details will all, will all be in the description um, or maybe I can, maybe I can mention it. It doesn't really matter. The the scenery is um, coming from the incredible Drzecki Designs, wonderful Polish company. And um, all I'm going to say is, uh, it's not the Miracle on the Hudson Mark II. That is on the horizon, but not quite ready just yet because uh, of the. I'm waiting for the Jar Designs A320 to be um, released so it's not that and that's as much as I'm going to say because I don't want to give it away but I just I can't wait for you guys to see it I'm not I'm honestly not trying to hype it up too much but I'm really proud of it and uh, it's going to be informative it's going to be all that good stuff visually pleasing um, and slightly amusing I hope but anyway enough on that and back to this incredible scenery. So our airfield is somewhere over there. Again, we don't want to lose sight of it too much. Look at these shadows on the mountains. Absolutely stunning stuff. Let's get a bit of air in here. That's better. In fact, in fact speaking of air, we should probably have that on. That's probably why I'm talking nonsense. I've got hy hypoxia has set in. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to just lower the speed brakes just to descend a bit here. We've got some altitude to play with. I'm going to put a, another link in the description. I've seen a video of um, a commercial jet coming into land at Pyro, and it's absolutely breathtaking. Um... I believe the name of the airline is Drunk Air, <laughs> which is quite funny. And they used to fly uh, the old BAE, um, what are they called? BAE 146, 100, I think. Um, and then a number of years ago now, they introduced the Airbus. I think it's the A319 100, which I think is the smallest Airbus. Um, yeah, so they now fly that into it, and there's a clip of a guy in a jump seat um, videoing the approach, and it is absolutely stunning. It's one of the most amazing things I've ever seen, actually. Right, this is fun. Let's do a bit of this. Look at these cars, like vertically on the... There you go, I've broken the flaps, you see. Damn, I completely forgot about that. Oops. Right. And then, hopefully, I've left us enough airspeed and altitude to get to the airfield. Time will tell. We do have some power left. 
not much, but uh, yeah, that should be enough actually. I don't know if that swaying is to do with the broken flaps or whether it's to do with uh, the fact that we're in this valley. I think maybe, possibly a bit of both. All right. So what we've got to do is try not to come in too high and fast and nice and controlled and don't get distracted by the stunning scenery look at that look at those clouds rolling in oh man all right come on take your own advice Wayne. i hope i hope this inspires you guys to come and try this um in your sim and see how it goes because it's uh it's so much fun right we got we got IFR conditions <laughs> in the airfield, which is less than ideal, but we will see. I'm not even sure, actually, if I've set the thermals to 25%, because I don't feel like we're getting lifted much. I'm going to deploy the, uh, the thing, just in case. I don't really want to use it. It's kind of cheating. Alright, so I'm just going to try and be quiet while I concentrate. You can see why this is a difficult approach, can't you? got a good landing. Awesome. I'm pretty pleased with that. That's pretty much bang on the center line as well. Anyway, not that I'm bragging. Okay, I'm bragging a little bit. Cool. All right, so I won't taxi all the way to the end, guys, but I hope you've enjoyed that. That is our first experience of Pyro. In, uh, in a glider and um, we'll certainly come back to this location again um, I think it's stunning it's a lot of fun and uh, like I said I really do want to attempt the same approach that the um, the uh, the a319 uh, Airbuses take and we'll try and do it to the to the letter I'm gonna practice that uh, before I do a video on it it's not something you can just jump in and do but um, this has been fun. I hope you've enjoyed it. And um, please like and subscribe. All that good stuff. And what else to say? Yeah, look out for that video coming soon. I can't tell you exactly when it's coming. I'm hoping the scenery will be delivered on Monday. And um, I'm super, super excited. Um, so hopefully it will be out uh, pretty soon. If not on Monday, then, then Tuesday. But yeah, hope you've enjoyed this video and as ever, I'll see you guys very soon. Thanks a lot. Take care.